Hey, Martha, get out of here. What? It's Tom. That crazy bastard's wearing a Budweiser shirt. He's trying to stir up controversy again. Ah, crazy bastard. Martha, get out of here. You gotta see this. Anyway, <laughs> how y'all doing? Savage. Why am I wearing a bud shirt, you may ask? Well, <laughs> actually, uh, I don't have a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> My wife picked it up in a garage sale for a quarter. And I know some of you are going to say, Oh, I wouldn't wear that even for a quarter, man. Uh, you know what? Hey, man, I'm poor. It was cheap. And it's certainly a shirt to wear around while I'm grilling or I'm not worried about getting dirty. So, anyways. <laughs> Uh, I slapped on my bud shirt, man. Let's see how many how many people I can piss off, man. Uh, so, hey, uh, let me share something with you. I decided to play around with some uh, some unaged whiskey. I had some from uh, some, they call Moonshine, uh, from Tees out in Lebanon, Missouri. This is just an 80 proof, so it's not an over-the-top unaged whiskey or unaged spirit. And what I did is I put it in this maple syrup bottle. I didn't really have much left in it, but I didn't clean it out. It had uh, just, uh, you know, had the, the maple on the sides and a little bit on the bottom. So I just put it in there with some walnuts and this vanilla stick that you can see on the bottom there. And I, when I poured it, I kind of filtered it out, but I still got some some little flux of vanilla. Still, still a little cloudy and flux of vanilla. Uh, you know, so there you go. I could really taste, I had some, uh, oh, a couple weeks ago, and I couldn't taste the walnuts as much, but now I really taste the walnuts in it. Um, you certainly can't taste the vanilla. What I did was I, I poured the whiskey in here. I added um, two tablespoons of uh, raw sugar to it, uh, the whiskey, and the walnuts and the vanilla stick. So I didn't add any water to it to water it down. But that, that's what's in there besides the whiskey is just the, the walnuts, some sugar, and the vanilla stick. And I used a fresh, fresh vanilla bean. I'm usually a purist when it comes to whiskey. Don't go for the flavored moonshines, as it were, in the store because it seems ridiculous to me to pay some of these that are going, you know, 25, 30 bucks for, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, for like 37 proof. You know, uh, it just seems ridiculous to pay that much. But I thought, well, let me play around, and try to make some at home. And this is kind of what I came up with. It's, it's actually it's actually not bad if you want something sweeter. I mean, I, I like the taste of, of whiskey as is, so I don't generally drink a sweet uh, shot like this. But it does taste, I could taste the vanilla, I could taste the walnuts, and I could taste the vanilla. Uh, vanilla. I said vanilla twice. Uh, maybe you've had enough to drink, Tom. I could taste the vanilla, the walnuts, and the maple is what I meant to say. I used some sugar in there because I didn't have a lot of maple left in there. So I added the raw sugar to kind of enhance the sweetness on it and kind of help kind of fortify the maple as it were. Mm. It's actually very easy drinking. This 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 is really dangerous because this is because it is so mellow uh, and I don't know what the proof is on it. To be honest, I don't know how much, I'm, like I said, I didn't add any water to it, but I added the sugar, the vanilla, and the walnut, so I don't know how much I, I cut that by adding that, or if any, I just don't know how that works. I don't know the science, but, you know, I, I still think I've probably got a more potent, I've got a more potent uh, flavored moonshine than 37 proof, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, because it's pretty dangerous, this is very easy to drink. I don't know if I'd put this in soda pop if you want a mixed drink, but you know I might add it to some club soda because it would it was it'd make it effervescent, and refreshing, and then add those flavors of the of the maple, the walnut, and the vanilla. Yeah, I wish I had some club soda handy, or I I, I would definitely try that. Definitely try that. Yes, I, I I go Rain Man on you every now and again. You like the way I do that? Ah, so there you go.